Um, Vera, if we just start with this morning's statement, not something you were expecting, but a, but an apology issue this morning from the players and yourselves through the, to the FAI. Yeah, and it comes from deep in my, in my heart and from deep in the heart of the players. I've, I've been talking with several players. Um, I've been talking with uh, the player that had put it on, on, uh, on Instagram. Um, and I asked her, did you know what you were seeing? And she said, yeah, of course, of course we know, but like as if they didn't know the importance or, or how deep how deep that hurts people and we have the first rule in our um, in, in our camp the f in, in the very first meeting respect is the first thing respect for each other respect for opponents for referees for, for the staff in the hotel for people around us and and that those are let's say the normal things and we have your freedom stops where you enter the freedom of somebody else and with this we've hurt people it should have never happened and uh, we sincerely apologize for that uh, it's no excuse that's in the middle of celebrations it's no excuse that they've been singing the whole all, all well all hit songs uh, on, on the on the plane um, this should not have happened and we sincerely apologize for it and it's for us as a team it's um, an educational point of view and I, I, must, I must also admit, uh, that's the downside of having a, a foreign coach. Um, I was not in the dressing room, but I have to admit, if I wouldn't have been, I would have recognized because I don't know. So I wouldn't even have been able to step in. Uh, this is a responsibility of the individually, and I'm responsible for this team, and we should have known better. Talk to you about the match last night, Vera Pau, Republic of Ireland squad, history makers. Discuss. Yeah, that's the other side of it. It's um, we need to, to not forget that we've made history, um, uh, but this overshadows it, and um, um, it's a shame. But it's also a good, very good learning moment for everybody involved in our team um, that we have grown to a situation that you are responsible for other things, um, and that people need to realize that it's not a matter of it's a shame that it went to Instagram, um, it is a shame that it happened. Um, is that the right word? Yes, shame? yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that it happened at all. Because if it's a, in a private situation, in a room with four people, it's as bad as it is. Uh, because you hurt people. And that's the last thing. We are always taking care of each other, are taking care of, of, of the, the little girls were always available for everybody. We always spread that to do good is good, and we have not done good now. We've done wrong. In terms of what happened last night, the impossible became possible. You know, I'm sure you watched on. You you knew what happened in 2017 when you know some members of the squad made a stance. How do you sum up what exactly happened last night? Um, that we do not know what will come on our path yet. Um, I've experienced with the Netherlands in 2009. Uh, the game was not as big as it's now, but um, that was already massive. It changed uh, our lives. Um, also for myself, because for me it was the first time that I qualified. Then with South Africa, we qualified for the Olympics. It made a huge difference for anyone involved in the game. Um, and that was the extreme because there were players who did not have a future and now are living the life uh, of, of stars abroad and, and working for TV. And, and this will happen with us too. Um, these players um, will not be unknown anymore. They are heroes and they will be recognized. But also for their whole future, there's a different path. And that is strange, as I said before the game, it's actually uh, something that you can hardly grasp, that 90 minutes in a l can change your whole life, because that is what it did. Yesterday, those 90 minutes will change the life of many. Um, and that, uh, that is the, the difficult part to, to ex uh, accept from sport, it's now our way. But like two years ago, when it went the other way, um, 90 minutes of a game changes lives or not. And I'm sure knowing you and knowing how this group has progressed, not today, but over the next couple of months, thoughts will turn to the, the World Cup itself and you'll want to go there and make an impact. Yes, we're not going there just to participate and to say that we're there. We will be fully prepared. Um, so yesterday at the party I already spoke a few words with the CEO and, and, the, and the football director. 
Uh, next week we'll set a meeting and we'll take time to put everything in place, what, what, we, what we need to organize, what we still need to, uh, to find out um, and make our game plan. What was the key to Avira? How did this, how did this come about? What was the key to, to getting Ireland to the World Cup? Um, that we have a bunch of tigers that want to fight for their country, that are proud of their country, that are proud of their history. Um, but we stand on the shoulders of legends who were before us without the cameras on our faces and who did all the work that we could start where we were. Um, I truly recognize the work that, for example, Sue Ronan and Colin Bell have put in, my, pre uh, my predecessors, the coaches. Um, so I didn't start from scratch uh, and, and we built on what they did. Um, and I think that this is a massive thing for, for all, for everybody involved in the game and it will change the lives of not this generation, but future generations and I hope that many girls will see now something to inspire. And on a personal inspire. level, how does this rate with the, the highlights of your own career? How does this compare? Uh, because of, I think, my personal circumstances, um, I think this is, this is on the top. Uh, the, with the Netherlands, it was after 25 years of work, first as a player, then as a, as a coach. Um, in South Africa, it was more of changing lives because of, of not having a future. But this, me personally, in a year, that has been so difficult, being carried by my team, being carried by the people in Ireland, and then achieving this and feeling that I've contributed to, the, to, to making people proud, uh, that is very special for me. So it's the top of my career. Top of your career. Congratulations and thanks for everything, Vera. Thank you. Thank Thank you.